Good morning, Mustangs, and happy Friday. This is your Morning Herd for Friday, September 23rd. I'm Sydney. I'm Jackie. I'm Kadra. And I'm Lola. Next week is Homecoming Spirit Week. So Tuesday is Country vs. Country Club. Wednesday, Adam Sandler vs. Minions. Thursday is Throwback Thursday, and Friday is Mustang Spirit. If you dress up, stop by the front office between 8 and 8.30 to join a raffle for free homecoming tickets. In addition to the homecoming football game, homecoming dance, and very dressed up days, Student Council is hosting two after-school competitions. Meet in the Commons after school on Tuesday for the musical chairs competition. On Thursday, there will be a cake eating contest. Can't wait for a fun, positive, and joyful homecoming for everyone. The theme of our homecoming dance on Saturday, October 1st this year is Great Gatsby. Uh, what does that mean? No, enjoy a 20 themed formal event. No specific attire is required. Um, the music will be the bee's knees. Overall, it looks like it will be a swanky time for everyone. Purchase tickets online, $10 cash at the door. Hope to see you there. Uh, Mountview Quiz Bowl is holding its first practice for both new and returning players on Tuesday, September 27th at 3.20 in room 2.30. If you want to know more about the Quiz Bowl and being a part of the team this upcoming season, stop by. Check out the math team meeting next Tuesday in room 208. There will be donuts. See Ms. Higginbotham with questions. Skills USA Club is holding the first meeting today from 3.20 to 4 p.m. in room 127D. Open to everyone and treats will be provided. Are you interested in a career in education, teacher, nurse, counselor, dean, social worker, coach, and many more? If so, attend the Educators Rising meeting on Wednesday, October 5th at 3.20 in Mrs. Alexander's room, 128. Treats will be provided. Muslim students that wish to pray during the school day, this announcement is for you. We're very happy to grant you access to prayer each afternoon. Please see your dean to get a permission slip for your parents to sign. Bring this back to your dean and who will then share expectations in, lo in a location for you to have this important time. Thank you. Down a goal with less than four minutes to play, the Mustang boys soccer team rallied. Goals from both Bryce and Cyrus gave Moundsview the improbable come-from-behind win over Irondale. The Mustangs improved to 2-2-1. Two to two and one. They will host Duluth East on Saturday at 1. Sometimes the final score is a small part of much more important story. Last night, the Mustang girls soccer team scored nine goals en route to defeating crosstown rival Irondale. It was a driving message to the game that matters most. The two teams came together to share their message, drive safe, someone loves you. They shared that we are one community that supports each other and lifts each other up, and reminded everyone to please wear a seatbelt. Well done, Mustangs. The Mustangs look incredibly athletic in last night's game uh, versus Stillwater. Uh, but the second place ponies prevailed 3 to 0, winning 25 16, 25 18, 25 10. The Mustangs travel to Park Cottage Grove to take on the Wolf Pack on Monday. Big weekend for both of our cross country teams. This afternoon, they will run at the Roy Greig Invitational at the University of Minnesota. And then tomorrow, they will host the Tom Watson Mustang Invitational in Anoka. Good luck to all runners. Good luck to the Mounds U football team tonight at Forest Lake. The Mustangs take on the Rangers at 7. The theme for tonight is Stars and Stripes. Enjoy the game, everybody. The main entree for today's lunch is chicken tenders or garlic cheesy bread. Have a great day, Mustangs, and ev an even better three-day weekend. That's right, no school Monday, and then it's homecoming week. Now for our joke of the day. What do you call a fish wearing a bow tie? Sophisticated. Happy, Happy Friday, Friday, everybody! <laughs>